everyone it's my face I thought I would do a small vlog video today since it is almost my six month anniversary being on YouTube filming YouTube videos my first one was on Christmas Day and by the time this video goes up it will be the day before on the 24th so there's one day out from six months close enough <laughs> I hope you're all doing well out there. It's been a very crazy year, hasn't it? And it just keeps on going. Just when you think something's over, then something else goes on after it and it's just been endless and I'm over it to be quite honest. They have actually put a few more restrictions back in in Melbourne and the state of Victoria where I live because we've had a few extra cases in the last week or so and they decided, I guess, that it was time to put a few more restrictions in place before things get out of hand again. So, yeah, it's a bit of a nuisance. It's been quite stressful also because my husband is mostly working from home, but he's actually working in a pharmaceutical company. And I can't really say very much about it because they're still in developmental stages, but he is directly involved with trying to develop a treatment for COVID-19. <sighs> you can imagine the pressure that he is under and of course that stress is coming on to me because I pick up people's feelings quite um, strongly. I'm one of these loopy, highly sensitive people that pick up on other people's emotions and it can really affect my own. It's a nightmare, <laughs> as you can imagine. <laughs> And of course there have been so many other things happening in the world at the moment and I've been doing my utmost to not really make comments or post things about it because I just want my YouTube channel to stay an art channel and not be, not be complicated by things that are way out of my control and are also very political and it's dividing people, making people really angry. My YouTube channel is a place to escape, it's a safe place where everyone is welcome and I just want to have some fun and also I think it's really important for everyone's mental health to have something to escape to that isn't related to current affairs. So. I've been doing that a lot myself. I've been watching other people's YouTube channels and especially the art ones and I find it relaxes me a lot and makes me happy so I'm hoping that I am able to do the same for everyone else as well out there. So yes, I've got a lot more videos coming up. I haven't actually filmed anything else. I have one video for Saturday this week and then I've got nothing so <laughs> I really have to actually pull my finger out and start filming some more things. It's not just obviously filming like I am now and then editing and then posting up. It's also making the artwork which is usually the longest part of it and it takes time. So posting two videos a week as I've been doing is pretty challenging but I do want to continue that for as long as I can. I'm really hoping to get to that thousand subscriber and four thousand hour benchmark YouTube has so that then I can further expand but it's a, it's still quite a long way off. I'm about quarter of the way there and I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I really 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 appreciate it and if you're new here welcome. I hope you've been enjoying my videos and I have a lot more planned in the future and a lot more regular videos as well. So twice a week when I can, once a week if I can't. <laughs> And I thought some of my uh, recent future plans is for July. I think it's World Watercolour Month and I've never participated in it before. I thought this year I would focus a bit on that for this month and, and make my videos around watercolours. So I've got a few ideas but I have not by any means planned the entire month yet. So I will come up with some things, just do some brainstorming. I've got a couple of things that I've prepared which I will get into and one of them's a Daniel Smith dot chart with all four pages and I think this is the largest one that you can at least get in Australia so I'm planning to do that much like the Windsor and Newton swatch chart that I did a month or two I forget I've lost track of time however many months ago that was the art shop also had a really big restock and they actually got some more 
and Graham paints in. Now, these are so expensive, so I really couldn't afford at this time to buy all six colours that I can use to fill up that whole palette. But I just picked up the two that I've been really wanting, which is the anthraquinone blue and the nickel quinacridone gold. So I grabbed those two and what else did I get that's exciting? Oh, this isn't really watercolour, but I've been wanting one of these bleed proof white jars for ages because I keep seeing other YouTubers testing them out and it seems to be really, really high quality and a great white highlight. So I managed to get myself a little pot of that. And what else have I got? Oh yes, <laughs> I thought I would revisit the scratch board art because I actually found another rainbow one and I'm really hoping that this one's going to be much better than the Aldi one. I got this from Riot Art and Craft which is a local Australian store and it was on the clearance section for, I'm looking for the camera there, um, it was on the clearance bin for three dollars so I've grabbed one and we'll try this in the future and hopefully it works much better than that Aldi one which did not work at all. <laughs> And what else have I got? Oh yes, in my spare time, of which there is a lot lately, <laughs> I grabbed a few of these, which are, they're called Metal Earth, uh, they're models, and basically they are metal, and you have, you don't need to use glue or anything, which is really good, they're just basically attached by these little metal tabs that they have on each piece. So I've got a new Schwanstein castle and a Parthenon. These are two buildings that I've been to in my life and I thought that these would be really fun to put together. I also grabbed a couple of Star Wars ones and I managed to successfully put one of them together. It's a little BB-8. I mean, how adorable are they? They're so cute. And I thought I might slowly build up a collection of these because they're quite fun to do. They're quite difficult, some of them. The instructions can be a little confusing, but I was quite pleased that I was able to get this one together. And I am currently working on R2-D2 at the moment, but he is in pieces. So <laughs> there's his head and there's his body. And I think I stuffed that piece up, but I'm just going to leave it on there because there's no way I'm pulling that apart. It took forever to put it together. They come in sheets which you have to use those little metal cutters to cut them out and um, you also then use pliers to bend the little tabs in place rather than your fingers which is too painful but you can see they're pretty complicated but they're quite fun to do so let me know in the comments if you want me to try and put one together on video I'm not sure how successful I'll be because the R2D2 one is taking forever and I keep just doing a few pieces at a time and then leaving it because it's so fiddly and frustrating but I am determined to finish it and Hopefully I will show you that once I've actually finished it, whenever that is. I keep sort of coming back to things. I've also got a diamond painting that I haven't touched for a while, mainly because Gandalf is just all over everything at the moment and he's so <laughs> annoying. I mean, you've seen what he did with that pot that I had and he's been shredding up kitchen sponges and uh, there's always a mess every day. There's always something that he's managed to pull out and knock down and break and yeah, so that's been interesting. This is little Trixie. I haven't introduced her yet. She's been a little bit stubborn because of the new kitten. She hasn't been super happy with him. But she's getting better and I thought I'd bring her onto camera today. You can see on her little eye, on her eyebrow there, she's got a bit of a bald spot. And that's because she got into a fight with the neighbor's cat. And I think she came off better than the other cat did, but I think she got a little scratch or something and it has a little bit of fungal infection in it. So I took her to the vet last week and we got it checked out and the vet seems to think it's probably that. So I've been putting on Caniston once a day, which is so much fun, I can tell you. But um, Caniston is that cream you get for things like athlete's foot and other fungal skin issues and she said that the one that we put on people is just as good for animals as well so I've been doing that and she seems to be getting better like it's more just a bald spot for a while there it was quite a nasty scab and so I'm really thankful for that but yeah she's a pretty thing she's just a bit 
grumpy sometimes because she doesn't like sharing me. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a short video this this Wednesday and I just thought I would at least put something up just to let you know what's going on. I'm really wanting to get more than a thousand subscribers eventually because then I think it unlocks a thing where you can post up comments in the community board and it would be so nice to do that to then put up an update you know if I'm unable to put a video up and things like that so one of these days I might actually get there. So if you haven't already subscribed I would really really appreciate it if you do so and always you are welcome to leave comments. I will try my best to answer them as well as I can. I do read them all and I do try to give them all a heart as well. But otherwise if you have any feedback and even if it's you know <laughs> constructive criticism and things like that I will read them and I do appreciate honest feedback as well. So I'm not one of these people who's going to go and cry in the corner if someone doesn't like my videos. I tend to try and see that as something that I can improve on and I try to take something positive out of everyone's comments, although most of the ones I've been getting, almost all of them have been fantastic and I really do appreciate it. So I hope you're all staying safe and well wherever you are in the world and I will see you all again real soon. I've got plenty of videos coming, I just need to make them. <laughs> okay, I'll swatch you later. Bye!